I grew up around music. It's my whole world. If you told 12-year-old me that one day I'd be working for Grace Davis, she's an icon. This woman doesn't even know your last name. She does, sometimes. Damn, the girl still give me goosebumps. Well, Grace, have you thought any more about the Vegas residency? Actually, I think it's time I record a new album. I mean, that's one plan. <laughs> What am I supposed to say to her? I'm just a personal assistant, but I'd love to produce your music. Let me do my job and you do yours, which is get her coffee, Kleenex, Kotex, and whatever else the hell we've been paying you to do for the last six months. I've been here for three years. You get paid? I thought you were an intern. All we got to do is play it safe and stack some money. I will decide what I do next. I mean, I hope you are using pattern, and if you're not, I need to send you a package. Jeez, send me a pack, I need some. Your hair looks beautiful. Thank you, so does yours. Of course, you're an icon for me, especially when it comes to the hair department. You have um, made me feel quite at home with the natural wearing the natural. I, I hope so, because your hair is gorgeous. Thank you, honey, so is yours. Thank you. I love this movie, and you're playing an international superstar, multiple Grammy award-winning singer, Pressure or Nah? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of, lot of fear I had to face to walk through this and sort of come out on the other side and let my voice come out and, you know, get out of my own way all the, all the fears I had. But um, I love the message of this movie. I have to say that it's so universal. I feel like it's so uh, relatable for everyone. The idea that no matter the age, the phase, the stage, yeah. the circumstances of your life, it is never too late to look for your voice, to find your voice and to go after your dreams. And it's my character and, and Maggie, the assistant character, both of us are trying to do what we want to do, be who we want to be, despite the fact that people are telling us to stay in our lane. Absolutely. And one thing that I really loved about this part is I would assume that you faced a lot of the same obstacles as Grace because I feel like in the entertainment industry, women of a certain age are often like pushed into certain boxes. Can you talk about that a little bit? You know, I, I haven't, I have to say. And I don't know that it's, um, I mean, I hear it sometimes. I have stories, I have experiences. I remember I was at a photo shoot and the photographer was like, can you have the young one come more forward? Oh and I was God. like, okay, <laughs> first of all, I can hear you. Um, but you know, I think my my own experience, I love getting older. Yeah. Um, I feel like I am the sexiest I've ever been, the the um, the best looking I've ever felt. Like what? no matter what other people think, like the way I feel inside, the older that I get. So I don't let any of that stuff, and as you know, because I'm very public about how I don't let people's idea of what my life should look like influence the choices that I make. Um, so yeah, I haven't experienced a lot of what Grace was experiencing. Okay, well that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Of course, yeah. you know, it helps black don't crack and- Well, I don't know. I think black <laughs> might not crack, but it folds. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. I'm gonna start using that. We gotta take care of ourselves. I don't care what color you are. You know what I mean? You gotta take care of your mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> Now, how much did you love the women power of this film, having a female director, working with Dakota Johnson? How was that? I loved it. You know, um, I always love it. I love working with women. I love women. This myth that's out in the world that um, women, are, there's rivalry and all that kind of stuff. I grew up with all sisters and all women and I've never experienced that. And this film was great. Like, it was fantastic. Nisha's a great director. She gave amazing notes. Um, I love that she was a woman of color and understood some of the conversations we needed to have about different dynamics that come up because Grace was uh, is a black woman. Um, Dakota was wonderful, big heart, and leaned into that chemistry with the two of us so beautifully. I loved working with Ice Cube. I loved, I didn't get to work with Kelvin a lot, but I loved working with Kelvin, Zoe Chow. It was just a great production. I loved it. Absolutely, I loved it too. And last question for you, I have to ask you, since so much of this film is about this dynamic between Grace and her assistant, do you have any relationships like that, working relationships that you drew, drew from? Um, no, uh, Grace's experience with her assistant was pretty unique. <laughs> I was like, what is going on here? It was fun to play in a movie, 
but I, I will not be taking on any of those characteristics in real life. Got you, got you. Well, thank you so much, Tracy. I so enjoyed you. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. And Becca, can we jot down this name and make sure we get some products? Yay. Absolutely. Thank you, okay, thank you. <laughs> Take care.